Have you ever felt that your career was sort of following a roadmap that looked like this? Where in the beginning, you know, you're searching for a job and it can be kind of awkward, intimidating, and you're doing all of these interviews and, but then eventually you get a job, right? And it's kind of exciting, right? You know, you're starting something and uh, everybody seems to like each other. Uh, the culture's great. You love your job. You could see uh, doing that forever, right? Everything is awesome. And then you stay there a little bit longer and you experience burnout, right? You find out the culture's not that great. You're kind of undervalued, underappreciated, uh, overworked, underpaid. Nobody gets along and everything sucks. <laughs> and then you leave, right? And then it's awesome because you're thinking, all right, you know, um, I'm leaving this dead end job and I'm moving on. I'm going to find something better until you realize we just get back on the same roadmap. Uh, and what's happened to a lot of people in our country, you know, over the years is uh, people kind of end, end up on this, uh, this roadmap, ups and downs and all arounds. And so if you're one of those that happened to come across this video that either myself or someone shared with you because you're looking for a detour, let me see if we can maybe find something that might offer you a neat alternative, right? Or a, an exit, if you will, from that roadmap that we've been on. So maybe what we need to do first is start looking at the reasons why Americans are leaving their jobs, right? Why they're unhappy with their career. Well, when you look at uh, polls and surveys that have been done, what you see over here is that uh, pay was too low, uh, no opportunities for advancement, felt disrespected at work. Um, you know, obviously there's some work-life balance issues between like childcare or just not enough flexibility. Uh, benefits weren't good. Uh, wanted to relocate, you know, people wanting to relocate, but also, you know, being forced by their company to, to live somewhere. Um, uh, and then there's what I thought was funny is the last two, which says working too many hours or working too few hours, right? So we don't seem to be able to agree on that. But for these reasons, obviously, people are a little unhappy with their jobs. So how do we solve that? I mean, when you look at these things, what would be the way to be able to accomplish having a great career? where we could get everything we want and none of the things that we don't want. Well, here's my idea for you. It would mean that we head down a road called being your own boss, right? Being your own boss would allow you to design a career, a job, a business, that would be for what you wanted it to be, right? Now, you might be sitting there, Jack, I've already thought of this. And I've also thought of all the reasons why I shouldn't do this. <laughs> and I've actually helped you compile a list of all the reasons why you shouldn't do this, actually. You know, uh, these are the, the top seven reasons why people don't want to start their own business. Number one, they feel they're at the wrong age. They might feel like, I'm too young. Or they might feel, I'm too old. Uh, they might feel like they don't have enough experience in starting a business. Uh, they feel like they don't have enough money. Uh, there's too much competition. I mean, anymore, what can you possibly do unless you're going to invent something that's never been invented and how hard that is to do, right? Well, then we're going to have to, uh, you know, compete with people that had way more money, way more experience. And uh, how am I going to do that, right? It takes too long, right? Who knows? I mean, I could be doing this for years, decades, and, and it never actually works out for me. And of course, there's that chance of failure, right? And that's you know, that's the thought, the fear that usually keeps us from ever starting our own business. And then last but not least, as many people kind of sit around and go like, you know, I guess I'd like to be my own boss, but I have no idea, you know, what to do. Well, I have an idea for you, right? Imagine with, with me, if you will, that there was a career, a business that you could start that would allow you to have some of these things that you see right over here. You could start at any age, no matter how young, no matter how experienced you are in the world, <laughs> you, could, uh, you could start this, this type of a business. Uh, it does not require experience. In fact, it's actually a pretty decent prerequisite. No large investment, right? So you're not going to have to go uh, mortgage your house, uh, put a, you know, get a massive business loan and uh, incur a ton of debt. You can actually start this new company part-time or full-time, depending on what is a better fit for your life, giving you the time to sort of maybe ease into this new business at your speed. There's plenty of opportunity, meaning there's not too much competition. Um, sure, there's always competition, but in this industry, uh, Americans are vastly underserved. 
leaving massive opportunity for anybody that liked to take advantage of it. There's very meaningful work. So we're not talking about creating a business where you sit in some warehouse somewhere creating widgets, right? You know, we're talking about something that is hands-on that you can fall in love with where you can actually see the impact that you're making in people's lives. And they may look back in their life on the decision that they made to work with you is maybe one of the best decisions they've made in their entire life. Trust me, when you learn more about this, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Recession proof. As you may have noticed, especially lately in our economy, there's a lot of uncertainty, right? Ups and downs. And you see industries that go from thriving to dying, right? And from dying to thriving. And you know people that have started businesses and been their own boss where things were great and then not so great. Well, what if I told you that in this industry I'm about to talk to you about, this is an industry that is very steady. Um, it's been there just about as long, if not longer than any other industry uh, career you've ever thought of. Uh, and it stands the test of time. It's great in great times and it's great in bad times in our economy. Advancement, right? Normally when we work for a, uh, at a company, we're used to working really, really hard, but our advancement depends on the relationships, the politics, the systems in place of that company. What if I told you you could be in control of your advancement? You want to raise, you want more responsibility, you want to take on other things and, and grow your business uh, into other things, you get to make that choice. Not to where you're pushed into it, but also that you're not held back from those things. That you could create work-life balance, meaning actually it's more like what we like to call life-work balance, where you prioritize your life with what you do in work and that you could have a schedule where you don't have to commingle these things, right? Because what can happen to Americans is that they don't spend enough time on their work because they're spending too much time in their personal lives. And so then, you know, their work is unhappy with them or they, uh, you know, don't spend enough time in their personal lives because they're spending too much time in their work. What if you had a way to create perfect balance for you in your life, custom tailored to you and your family? What if you could be a part of something that already had a phenomenal culture? One of the hardest things for somebody starting a company is to create great culture and excitement and energy, right? What if that already existed? And what if you had a business guide? What if you had a coach? Because that's one of the reasons why people feel like they fail, and that's absolutely why people fail, is being your own boss can kind of be a lonely world, can't it, right? You're out there on your own, and. Uh, you don't know whether you're doing the right thing or not. So what if somebody already had something that worked, right? Kind of like a, a franchise where all you had to do was follow a system that worked and not recreate the wheel. Be yourself, right? But know that there was a track to run on that would ensure success for you, right? Wouldn't that be awesome? And last but not least, what if there was an opportunity for unlimited income and earnings for life. And what I mean by that, in this industry, you don't just earn income for gaining customers. You earn income for keeping customers. And in many of the industries that exist in America today, it's transactional. Meaning, if you want to grow your business, you need more customers. In our business, of course, we want to uh, grow customers. But keeping your customers only increases your income over time right? And that becomes uh, what is known as mailbox money, uh, where all you have to do is continue to show up and your income increases year over year uh, in a passive residual way. Well, that would probably be enough to excite you, wouldn't it? I think it's enough to excite most people. And, uh, you know, you might have already kind of taken some guesses and uh, you might be curious and wondering, what is it? What is this guy talking about? Well, I'm talking specifically about the financial industry and a company called Five Rings Financial. My name is Jack Waldron. I'm an executive vice president of this company, Five Rings Financial. And what I wanted to do today is give you a chance to learn a little bit about our industry and learn more about our company and see what I can do to help you best understand what the pros and the cons are of this industry and why I believe that the company that I work for is the best uh, in our industry. So first, let's start with why build a financial practice. Here's one. It's the biggest one. 
The market value of the financial industry is $22.5 trillion. That's pretty big, <laughs> right? Uh, $22.5 trillion uh, is massive and growing rapidly. Within that, Five Rings Financial is the fastest growing company in the industry uh, for a good reason. We're going to get to that. The flexible career options. In the financial world, we're dealing with money, right? Money is not everything, but it does rank right up there with like oxygen. It's kind of important, right? It's why it's maybe the biggest industry in the world. Within that industry, however, you can build a practice that helps people with money and you can work part-time, you can work full-time, you can work anywhere in between. Um, you can start part-time, work your way up to full-time, right? Uh, most, well, it depends on which company you work with, but with our company, we don't have minimums or quotas. We don't have any sort of mandatory hours. So you get to control that, right? And set your own hours, which is nice. Meaningful work means you get to help people with money. Like I said, money is, is super important. And if you can help families, and when you look at America today, people need help, right? Especially with their money. Uh, and if you can help those people feel better, you know, get the relief, uh, and just the satisfaction of knowing that they're on the right path to become financially independent or preserving and protecting the money that they've worked so hard for, trust me, that's a great relationship to have. And what that can do is lead to a lot of growth for your new company. Uh, it's inexpensive to, to start. Depending on the state that you're in, we're usually looking at maybe a couple hundred bucks and a couple weeks of studying to get a license. And that's actually something you don't have to do right off the bat when you're getting started. Recession-proof, like we talked about, uh, meaning that you're not going to build a great uh, company and then lose it all when there's a market correction. In fact, we usually get a little stronger during that time, and we'll talk about why. And lucrative income for life, right? Meaning you have that ability to make phenomenal income, right? We have had multiple people that have earned six figures in their first year. On average, I would say most people that get in the financial industry part-time are going to make somewhere around three, four, five thousand dollars per month. Um, and then full-time income may be more like five, six, seven thousand dollars per month. But there are those exceptions. 17 years ago, I was introduced to this industry completely out of the blue. I was fresh out of school. Um, I got introduced. I did not start with, with this company, uh, Five Rings Financial, but I did find that in this industry, if you could find a way to help people and you could combine that with a strong work ethic, then you could really you know, do some great things. But eventually, I learned I needed to be a part of the right company. And I chose to work with Five Rings Financial more not because of the company having better uh, products, right? Most companies in the financial world have access to a lot of the same things. It has to do with having a great system, having great support, having great culture, and great leadership. In 2004, this guy, Mike Wilk, uh, right here, uh, created this company. He's currently been in the industry for over 40 years, but he decided he wanted to start his own company with a focus on education and helping Americans understand how money works. I was introduced to Mike by going to one of the Money 101 classes that we're known for. Okay, uh, At that class, I learned more in one hour than I learned in my entire life about the basics of how money works. I was really impressed to see that there was a company that focused on education and empowering people to make good decisions rather than kind of like a sleazy sales presentation that I was expecting. Right. I got to know Mike. He kind of took me underneath his wing. Uh, he helped me start out part-time. I had a job that I wasn't super in love with, so I started part-time. Um, I was able to earn a, a great income, double my, my income that first year working with Five Rings in that system and with that coaching and, and support. And it gave me the confidence in that second year to be able to transition full-time. And so I have this awesome opportunity at this, this stage to be able to share my experience uh, with you and help you uh, also go maybe through that, that same experience as well and, and hopefully help you feel a lot better about your career path going forward. So here's what I do now as part of Five Rings Financial. We've identified we have some problems in our country, right? You know, we all go to school for like 12 to 16 years. We learn things like reading and writing and math. 
right? And we don't learn um, much about money, right? And we talked about that before. Money is really important. And when you start to look at statistics in America today, uh, Americans are not doing so well with their money, all right? Inflation has become a massive issue. Personal debt is at an all-time high. Savings is at an all-time low. The average 65-year-old in America today has less than $50,000, and they're supposed to be retiring, right? And you think, well, maybe things are getting better for the people that are younger because of those budgets that have exploded over the last few years and, and decades? Absolutely not. Uh, debt is getting higher. Savings is getting lower. And so we, I've, we've identified there are some issues, right? There, we have an education system that doesn't really talk a lot about finance, and we have a financial system that doesn't really offer much education, right? And when you look at the financial world, it kind of looks more like this, sort of the good old boy society, right? And for a guy like me that's from a small podunk town in the middle of nowhere, I will tell you that when I started doing research and deciding I wanted to know more about the financial world, I felt like I was kind of shut out of maybe the best financial advice and support. And I wasn't wrong. The truth is, in this industry, there are many large companies that if you, as an individual consumer, do not have multiple millions of dollars, they are not willing to work with you. And they truly believe that their advice is not to be shared with people that don't already have millions of dollars. It's really not worth their time. And that's not to say that these are horrible people. This is a system that's existed before these old fogies were born. But somebody's got to do something about it. And so that's why Mike Will created this class, Money 101. And we currently teach hundreds of these classes all over the country to give people a chance, people like myself, that weren't raised around people that were super successful with their money. In these classes, we teach things like compound interest, time value of money, tax favored strategies. We go through tips and strategies, things that anybody could apply into their life starting tomorrow, and it would make a huge difference. Even if they weren't a client, we believe in giving away a lot of great value, a lot of great information. And because we do that, a lot of people do come back and want to know more. Around 80% of the people that come to one of our classes will share with us that they have questions, that they're curious to know more. Uh, and then so our job is to then obviously meet up with them, get to know them, their family, what they've been through in the past, what their goals are for the future, do some research and help them, right? So uh, we have a massive focus towards doing things very differently than the industry. Like I said, most financial companies are not all that different, right? Um, in terms of the actual things we have access to, the, the investments and insurance products and all that sort of stuff. Uh, what makes us different is we believe in education where most, uh, most people that start in this industry are kind of trained to impress people and confuse them at the same time. So people are not really feeling all that empowered to make good decisions. So we do Money 101 classes, and then we have some phenomenal women in our company that lead something called Wine, Women, and Wealth. Uh, if you look at the financial industry today, in that picture I just shared with you before, it really looks like the good old boy society, right? Male, pale, and stale. Well, we decided that we were gonna change something with that. And we have some phenomenal ladies in our company that created something called Wine, Women, and Wealth. Uh, and now that's become one of the fastest growing parts of the financial industry. Um, the, uh, obviously, the, you know, women in our country are, are massively underserved. And so the women in our company lead this workshop, uh, social networking event, to help women come in and feel more comfortable and empowered to make good decisions with their money. And currently today, the financial industry is represented by less than 5% female advisors. I'm happy to say that within Five Rings Financial, we have more women in our company than men, and they are absolutely thriving within that system. And so for you ladies out there, uh, I strongly recommend that you do some more research and, and talk with some of the great ladies in our company that can tell you more about how that works. Now, no matter what, right, whether somebody comes to a Money 101, they come to a Lunch and Learn class, or whether they come to Wine, Women, Wealth, Money, Mommy, and Me, this is our focus. We want people to learn how to grow their money correctly. We want people to learn distribution, not just how to save money, but ultimately how to spend money. That's one of the things that the financial industry normally just kind of leaves out. They always just talk about how do you put more money in our accounts, but they never talk about how you take some of that money out of your account. Uh, and then protection, which is something that unfortunately most people don't talk about until it's too late. So. To have that big pile of money and become financially independent, we have to talk about these hurdles. And that's what we do. So over the course of our classes and as we build a relationship and meet with people, uh, that's what we do and help people get a really clear path. And because we do spend time and invest, I'm sorry, we invest time with people, 
is the really the way that we look at that. Because we invest that time, that's the reason why we have a really high persistency rate. Over 98% of the clients that come to work with us stick with us after a year, 95% after two years. That's about 20, 30, 40% higher than what most companies see in our industry. And like I said, this is an industry that if you're gonna build a practice, you want your clients to stick with you long term. And that's how you do it. Not by just telling them what to do, but by actually bringing them with you, showing you building relationship uh, and supporting them through that. So let's talk about what Five Rings Financial offers you, more than just the financial industry, okay? So we offer personal coaching and support. When I came to work at Five Rings Financial, I was brand new, right? I was not a financial expert. I wasn't uh, super confident with all of the, you know, the terminologies and answering all the questions. Well, I was hired by a guy named Mark. He was effectively my coach. So when people had questions, I was able to introduce Mark he knew all the answers to the questions. I was able to learn from him as an apprentice. He was my mentor. And over enough time, if you watch somebody that's really good at what they do, do what they do, it helps you transition into becoming that role or you know, taking over that role and becoming that, that expert, okay? And everybody's gonna have their own speed. Uh, for me, within my second year, I was able to start handling most uh, client situations on my own. For some people, it's six months. For some people, it's six years. Uh, but again, you run your own race and we encourage that. Ongoing training means it's not right up front and then best of luck to you, kid, right? When I got started 17 years ago, the first company that's, that uh, uh, introduced me to this industry gave me a tremendous amount of training and it was great training for two days. And then I got a swift kick in the butt and it was, here's your presentation, best of luck, kid. <laughs> and most people do not survive in those environments. It's uh, what you call throwing a whole bunch of people up against the wall to see who sticks. We do not believe in that. We offer personal, like I said, uh, coaching and mentoring, and then ongoing training and support. We have a phenomenal portal in our back office that gives you access to hundreds of hours of training that's been recorded, as well as constant live training that's going on to help you stay on top of what works best for you and for your clients. We have marketing plans that work. Um, you know, you cannot win the game if you don't have plays and a playbook, right? So we need to figure out what is your goal? How do you score? What is the best, uh, best way for you individually to structure your business? What could be your niche? There are riches in niches. And so our job is to look at the, the plans that we have in place and maybe custom tailor something that works best for you uh, and for maybe your community. Non-captive environment means that uh, in the financial world, you have the choice of working with companies that are captive, that kind of like are working, you know, having a job where they set all the rules and uh, you know you can't break them, right? So you work with that one company, and if they don't have the best thing for your client, too bad, you're stuck, right? It's going like it's like going into a shoe store and all they have is size eight blue high heels. Like, ladies, you may not all have. <laughs> size eight blue high heels. Uh, and so we have everything. As a non-captive brokerage, uh, we have access to every single thing uh, that could fit our clients' needs. So what we do is get to know people, then shop all of those options to make sure we have the best possible thing. For you as the consultant uh, in your practice, it's nice to know that you own your own book of business uh, and that that stays with you for the rest of your life. And like I said, that means a tremendous income up front, but also residual income that lasts you the rest of your life. And you wanna know these things. We also have no pressure, meaning we have no minimums. We have no quotas. Many companies in our industry have high minimums, high quotas. And what that means is they lose a lot of good people that they just didn't get up to speed as quickly as maybe that company demanded that they do. So we don't do that. We don't wanna put that kind of pressure on you. Uh, ownership, I already covered that. And then last and most importantly, we feel we have phenomenal culture. We believe in having fun. And you know, we travel all over the world. Uh, we, we take uh, the folks that are working in our company uh, on usually three and four trips. Uh, we have a lot of fun. Um, and we've built a, a phenomenal reputation around that in our culture is, is really second to none. Uh, it's really what helped me fall in love with our company. I've never been around a company that's, you know, that's like this, where it really feels more like a family than it does like a business. And this picture that I'm uh, sharing with you right here was uh, from our recent trip over to uh, Marco Island in, in Florida. And what I want you to see in this picture is you'll notice that this doesn't look like the financial industry. These are a lot of people that were told they probably shouldn't be in the financial industry. You know, uh, They didn't look like they were 75 years old and uh, been in the financial industry for 50 years. Many of these people came from 
uh, you know, corporate careers with no financial background or blue collar jobs. We have people that have immigrated uh, to our country, uh, didn't even know how to speak English and are thriving within our company and that system, being themselves and serving their community. Uh, we are a big believer in helping America by hiring Americans of all walks of life. And here's what we all have in common an absolute commitment to changing lives and leaving the world in a better place. And if you can commit to that mission and combine it with a phenomenal business, sky's the limit. We are growing at 50 and 60% a year right now. Um, and yet we have a long way to go on our road to success. Our company is thriving, but for us to continue to thrive, we have got to introduce, train, and develop the next level of our great consultants, those who want to be their own boss uh, and you know go out there and, and get to work. I can make this sound like it's the greatest thing in the world because to me it is, right? I'm very lucky and blessed. Uh, that I got introduced to uh, this industry and then introduced to this company. And I, I feel like my biggest responsibility at this point is just not screw this up. And, uh, and I also have this opportunity to share this with you and anybody else that wants to sit here and listen to me, right? Um, this is not the easiest thing in the world, right? Being your own boss does not mean it's easy, but it might be better. If you give yourself enough time and you have the right kind of support, you might be able to set yourself down a road where you may not recognize yourself, your life, uh, and you know what you're able to do. The the you know the fulfillment that you get from that is a little bit different than helping someone else build their business. Building your own business is really phenomenal, and if you have the right things in place, uh, I think it's just it's a great way to go. All right, well, that ends our detour, right? So we, uh, we took a little side path and you know maybe a few different ideas, things you may not have uh, thought of before, and uh, maybe you're starting to think a little bit more about maybe the options that would work best for you. So what I do, would like to do is invite you to take a test drive, right? If you're gonna go down this road, what I recommend is you maybe come hang out, right? Come to some of our events. Maybe come, if you haven't been to a Money 101, you should check that out. Ladies, obviously you need to go to Wine, Women, and Wealth. Uh, you know, get out there, hang out, you know, do some research, learn about the industry, come to our office, hang out with us, uh, and take your time. If it's the right time now, great. If it's 10 years from now, great. We're still going to be here and we're going to be helping people. Uh, and like I said, we need good people, but we need the right people that really understand and have learned about our industry and what we do and really why we do it and have agreed that they're willing to join with us and work hard to get up to the top, to help our company become a household name uh, and really do some awesome things uh, in the process. But no matter what, obviously, if you want to do something you know, that's going to change your life, you're probably going to have to change your life. And as the amazing leader, Michael Scott, once said, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take by Wayne Gretzky. So with that, I'd like to say it was great uh, to have you on here. I hope to be able to meet you soon at one of our events or classes. You're welcome to call me, uh, set up a Zoom meeting, or come up into the office. Uh, but uh, you know, any and all questions, uh, we welcome to learn more about this industry and about our company. And uh, just look forward to uh, hopefully seeing you around and hope you have a great day.